Yo, what is up guys? It's your boy Savage 2 k here with another video. And in today's video, I did a bit of rebuilding with the Boston Celtics. Um, I don't have all the trades and free agents that I've signed. All that gameplay is gone. It just completely disappeared. So here's the team that I built. Um, I first started off with trading the number one pick and that being a package with Jay Crowder and Avery Bradley. I was able to get Draymond Green for that. And no, I don't think that was the trade. It actually might have been and I did trade away another uh, player that I did get from the Warriors. So I thought that was a good trade, and um, I've kept Draymond since then. And the Miami Heat were willing to give up Hassan Whiteside for Al Horford, and I did that right away. Rebounding is way better. Um, A-plus rebounding, Hassan Whiteside. Um, although Horford can shoot the ball a bit better than, or well, way better than uh, Hassan, it's just a way better move having Hassan. Getting rid of Horford's contract was amazing. That... Would, uh, that allowed me to sign Gordon Hayward so this is kind of the Boston Celtics now if they want to make any moves this would kind of be the team now and I forget the pack I traded I think a couple picks and uh, another player for Zach Levine a nice shooting guard to fill in Avery Bradley spot and we have Jalen Brown now an 80 overall we are a couple seasons into the rebuild have Jake uh, Jalen Brown still on the team I, did, I don't have Jason Tatum. I did trade away most of the picks for these players that I have now. I think um, Hassan, I think it was a second rounder. It wasn't that big of a deal. Draymond, no, I did give up most of my most of the first round Nets picks for Draymond. And uh, Marcus Smart's still on the team. Isaiah's backup. Sometimes he is. Him and Jalen are basically my six men on the team. And the rest of these guys are just trash. Pretty good bench, though. These guys all don't play. Um, yeah, these guys pretty solid um, off the bench. Honestly, this is my bench, so these guys don't really see any playing time. But anyways, a great team. And um, so right now I'm in the offseason. My free agents, uh, Draymond Green, he's testing free agency. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to get him back because I think I'm way over the cap limit. Uh, Jalen Brown, I'll bring, wow, that's a lot. I don't know if I'll be able to bring Jalen back. Uh, for the minimum, I'll bring Jarabko back. The rest of these guys, I think I might be able to let some of them go. Zipster's actually pretty good. I played one game in the finals with the team. It was a great team. Zipster was pretty good. So, free agency, Draymond. Okay, so I could give him an offer. That's good. But look at all my cap. Oh my god. You don't have enough room to... Okay, so I'm going to go release somebody to free agency. Get rid of that. Alright, Draymond. Hopefully, you come back to the Boston Celtics. Win yourself championship. We'll give him... 20 million to 26 million all right I if Draymond agrees you I... okay so doesn't look like I can get uh, Draymond Green that sucks Isn't you only try I don't know what I'm gonna have to do I want to really try to keep this a great core. I want to try to keep them together as long as I can. Um, but uh, might just have to sign a power forward to the minimum. I don't know if I have that much money. I don't have that much money at all, actually. So we'll see what we could do. Ryan Anderson, yes. All right, Draymond. Okay, yeah, I'll definitely sign Anderson. He'd be fine. I do have a lot of high 80 overalls. You offer. So he has no current offers. That sucks. I can't sign this to him, though. 
Jarepko, good coming off the bench. Jalen Brown, I'll take you back. Sipser, I'll take you back. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do now. We need that power forward. So we got Anderson. He'll be decent. But, um, yeah, that really sucks. It would be really good having him off the bench get rid of Jarepko. So I could bring Dream on, but yeah, I'm just way, way over. Yeah, look at the contracts on these guys. 30 million for Hayward. Whiteside, 117 mil. Zach Levine's a lot. Jalen Brown's a lot. Where the okay, I was gonna say where's Isaiah? I got scared for a second. Isaiah's making a lot. Smart. Is he making a lot as well? <sighs> yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do now. I don't know if I want to trade any of these guys though. If any of them, it would have to be Hayward to free up some cap space, 30 million, so I could side and Draymond back. But I don't know if Draymond had such a big part in this team that. I mean, Hayward, let's go to player stats. Where's player stats? There it is. So look at Anderson. That's great numbers there. Hayward 17 points. See, Draymond, I think, only averaged 12. So it's not really worth getting Draymond back and getting rid of Hayward. Just uh, the rebounding. Eh, but, I mean, it is Gordon Hayward. And we have Hassan Whiteside, best rebounder probably in the game. So I guess we're just going to roll with this team. Let's go to training camp. <sighs> yeah, that sucks. I wasn't able to bring Draymond back. But Ryan Anderson, pretty solid pickup for the minimum. Hopefully we could take him back again next year. And let's see if this team can win a championship. Okay, so advancing to next season. Last season, we did end up first in the conference, but we were eliminated first round to the Charlotte Hornets. We, were, we lost to the eighth seed. That pissed me off. So we're going to go ahead, simulate through the season. And now um, we're going to talk about some trades that are going down in the NBA right now. And I'm, I don't know if I'm happy about this or not, but the Celtics are getting rid of Avery Bradley. He was amazing in the playoffs for us, but... The only reason why I think the Celtics are going to be trading him is because that next year, Isaiah Thomas and Avery Bradley and Marcus Smart are all free agents. This team is doing awful. The Celtics get slept on so much in this game. Oh my god. So Avery Bradley's getting traded probably just for that reason. The Celtics are not going to have enough money to sign all these players back. So I think they're trying to get rid of him now so they don't have to sign him next season. And I don't know what they're going to do with this open shooting guard spot. I think what they're going to do is put uh, Marcus Smart, give him a starting spot now with the Celtics. Um, I think that would make more sense. Smart's defense, I think Smart is a great defender, just like Avery Bradley. Not as good, but he is up there with all the top defenders, I think, anyways. But, um... I don't know if I'd do this if I were the Celtics for Marcus Morris. I mean, he will probably help a bit with the rebounding, but him and Al Horford uh, in the front court, I don't know. It's just, I don't know. I don't think um, it's really worth doing. I would rather trade Jay Crowder and Avery Bradley as a package. M maybe, be if anything, just get rid of Jay Crowder because Celtics, I don't know what you guys are going to be doing with four small forwards. I mean, get rid of Crowder first and then maybe make some moves. Or get rid of both players together so you free up cap space and you don't have as many small forwards. There's a lot the Celtics have to think about with all these new players they have. I mean, Jason Tatum, I don't know if you might be able to play him the four. Jalen Brown, you could play him at the two. But um, there's a lot uh, Danny Age has to do with this team. I don't know what he's going to do, how he's going to do it. But I really just hope they keep Avery Bradley and Isaiah Thomas and Bradley can... Uh, they could work something out next year in free agency so they could bo take both of them back. I just don't really like the idea of getting rid of uh, Avery Bradley. He's a really, really good player. He really, he is a Celtic. I mean, 
of course he's a Celtic, what am I saying? But he's just a lot of Celtics fans really like him. I mean, I do. I love the guy. He's awesome. All the buzzer, the buzzer beater he hit against Cleveland. I don't know. It's just tough getting rid of him. I really hope the Celtics don't do this. And we just totally bombed this season. I think we got last and we made it to, we were the first in the conference last season. Jesus, are you kidding me, 2K? How, you, did you see the roster? Jesus Christ. Look at the, this is unbelievable. How? How? I don't understand. Did Draymond really do that much that we dropped down this much? Oh my god. This just doesn't make any sense. That's crazy. Well, I don't even think I should even do a second season. Let's just see how this, who wins these playoffs. Might be Philly. Probably no. Philly. And the 76ers win the championship. Congrats, Markel Fultz. Just the process. It'd be a savage move if the new viewers subscribed and hit that thumbs up button. It's been your boy, the Savage 2K. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.